Now, alright guys, hello everyone, welcome back to Clash Royale, and as you can see, we made it, we got out of the dreaded Pegasus Playhouse and are here in Spell Valley, I've already been upgrading the Zap a lot, as you can see, um, I have it at level 6, which is technically higher than my, um, arrows, which I'm actually pretty satisfied with, so I think I am gonna go ahead and roll with, with the Zap right now. Uh, compared to the arrows. They're actually about the same amount, so I shouldn't have a huge difference. Plus, the elixir costs so much lower. Like, I actually like the deck I have out here right now. I could technically put a 5 elixir card in for those guys. The truth is, what would I put... I mean, I could put the balloon, and that technically gives me the same deck amount that I have, except the dragon would have to go out. So I could put a 4 elixir. I should just put the P.E.K.K.A., you know. Just as an extra card. But, um, I think I'm actually pretty set right now with this deck. I mean, this is obviously a version of the deck that I use. This is actually exactly what I used when I was in Arena 5, including the minions, though I did get the Ice Wizard shortly afterwards. But what else did I use for that? I mean, I don't know what I put in that spot, but I know I put something. I got the Fire Spirits as well. So, uh, yeah, let's actually jump into a live attack right here and see... What we can do here in Spell Valley. Alright. Good luck. Give him the double thumbs up. Alright, we're actually going to go right in with a Hog Freeze, because why not? You can see it's level 7. We are a level 6. We're going to see if that freeze. Oh, the Expo, though. Yep, play that in defense right there. Oh, no, I let his Expo target. Dang it, that was not smart. Well, I did more damage to him anyway. Wow, that's actually a lot of troops going in right now. Oh, dang it, this is not good. Zap, zap. Alrighty, well, we actually did a good amount of damage to both towers, though his dragon is coming in right now, and I don't like it. Oh, no. Seriously, how does this guy have so much elixir? I can't do anything. This tower is going down. This guy has too much elixir. I honestly, a freeze won't counter that. I need to put the dragon in. I don't know how he got so much elixir all of a sudden, but he did. At least I can go another hog free, so he should be very low on elixir. Because he's been playing so many troops. Oh, no. There is the expo, meaning it is barbarian time. Oh, we're actually going to wreck the expo. Which is big. Now he's going to see. Wow, he really wants to counter those barbarians pretty badly. Anyway, they go down. I'm going to go ahead and play the Spear Goblins just to take those guys out. Alrighty, Spear Goblins going in. There goes our Hog, and our Freeze is ready to go. Seriously, like, I'll let him do that damage without using the Freeze, honestly. That was good damage. Oh, there's a Zap. Yeah, Zap him. Perfect. Alright, drop the dragon there in defense. And we're almost ready for another hog push. Let's drop the spear goblins for some chip damage. Wow, he actually read that perfectly. We may be able to do enough here, though. We may. No, we got very close, though. Perfect. There we go, hog rider. Freeze the minion horde and take it out. We're going to go ahead and zap the minion horde as well, just to make sure that it won't do uh, too much. Actually, won't do any damage right now. We're going to drop that in. Since he dropped Barbarians as well, we're going to put the bomb tower to take it out. Alrighty. Great shape right now. And we also drop the, uh, the Hog Rider over there. Oh. Coming in with the minion horde there, I see. Now, all of a sudden, I'm ahead. All of a sudden, I'm in decent position for this. Oh, bomb tower? In. Hopefully, it does enough. This is a level three. We need to drop our barbarians as well to actually take this guy out here. But it won't be a... Oh, gosh. It's actually very darn low on health. Go, Hog Rider. We need to win it right here, right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we did it! That is probably going to make TV Royale, I just gotta say. That was so close right there. That has got to make t t TV Royale. Tell me. Tell me.
tell me this is going to TV Royale. We're going to go ahead and unlock that chest. Um, I think now that I have the freeze, honestly, I think I can push pretty darn high. Um, do I buy Spear Goblins, or do I say, I want to save, because I'm going to have to upgrade those. So I was going to say I need to get those upgraded eventually. They're still level 6, though my Barbarians are going to continue to get higher and higher, hopefully level 9. That's the hope. That would be pretty awesome. Like my regular account. The Zap will also, that's what I'm requesting for right now. Once it's level 7, I'll stop and go back to Barbarians. It's decent at level 7, and it can be there for a while. And yeah, right now I feel pretty good at this deck. It's got counters for a lot. I could very well use the Musketeer instead of the Minions, but I do like the Minions just as like a counter card. I actually do think they are pretty good. I'm just trying to think because I haven't used something that does not have the Elixir Pump in a long time. Obviously, I'm hoping I'll get that soon. I'm hoping I can get there actually sooner than later and that it won't take me as long as it took me to get to here. That's the hope because truly... Builder's Workshop, I get the Elixir Pump, I'm all set. So let's just jump right back into this. I actually do want to get into another attack. Spell Valley was actually a pretty tough arena for me as well. So if we manage to get through it pretty easily, I'll be pretty satisfied. But look here, a level 8. Like, why? I'm a level 6. Why a level 8? That, like, seriously? Oh, no, we got an Ice Wizard. Not that it'll do too much, but now he drops that in too. Which means he has a ginormous push going, so I actually can't counter him. I need to drop the Barbarians right there to do a counter. We're going to drop our Spear Goblins over there to do damage to him. And there goes three Barbarians and two Spear Goblins, but he drops the Bomber. Well played. I will give him that. That was well played. We did do some chip damage over there, so due to that... Oh, no, never mind. We need to take out this Hog Rider. Please don't have the Freeze. Yep, we take out the Hog Rider. He did a good amount of damage, though. Hopefully, we can do a good amount of our actual troops. So, I got the Zap ready in case we need. Nope, the Wizard does go in, but we're not going to worry too much about him. We're going to get our hits, and I accidentally dropped the Bomb Tower off to the side there. We should be okay, though. I should be able to counter anything that does not go our way. Sure enough, I need to drop these guys to defend. Now we need to wait a little bit. Seriously, I want I can't get a good push going. This guy always has elixir to counter. And I can't do much about the bomber because of its splash damage. Oh no, not another hog rider, please. Alright, please, something happen here. While he counters over there, now we're actually gonna drop in the hog. I know we don't have enough elixir yet. Oh yeah, Ice Wizard, you know what I think about that? I'm going to freeze your Ice Wizard itself, drop in the Barbarians just in time right there to actually take it out. Now we're actually in decent shape. I've used 700, 500, I can take out either one. Oh no. Take out the Hog Rider. Perfect, perfect. All right, he's got more damage I'm done, but I think I may be able to get this actually right here. Drop the Freeze before the he even uses the Ice Wizard of a hit, and we are going to take it out. Now I just need to defend. Take out the Hog Rider right there. Woo. Taken out. Just need to get to the Freeze, and I will win. We got... Oh, no, wait. It's sudden death? What? Uh, zap it. Oh! That was actually pretty close. I thought I had actually taken out the tower. That makes go TV Royale, too. What? <laughs> I gotta share that one, too. How? I gotta share that. Those are both two already awesome replays right there. I'm gonna donate a mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm not going to give the zap because I'm trying to actually upgrade it, so... <laughs> wow, that was actually a pretty darn close one. I did not actually notice that. If I actually had lost that, I would have been so sad. Because that was an easy win. I should have just zapped it and... 
and finished it. But, you know, I saw the sudden death sign. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but either way, we got it. I want the crown chest. So we're actually going to go in for yet another live attack. Let's see if we can do it here. Good luck. Double thumbs up. All right, we're going to drop the dragon in the back. A seven this time. Yet to face a six here. Alrighty, and we go ahead and drop in the dragon in the back. Oh, a goblin hut. Alright, we're actually going to play that very well here and put in the bomb tower. Perfect counter to goblin hut decks, decks guys. Is that. Problem is, is Musketeer is actually going to basically take it out. So they are going to do some chip damage, though I am not too, too concerned of it, actually. We're going to go ahead and drop the Hog Rider on that side. Oh, no, now I am concerned. Hold on. Drop our Barbarians. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have the Zap if I want to Hog Zap. That was a very poorly played Zap. Anyway, Spear Goblin's in to distract a bit. Oh, yeah, we did well there. Wow, this is sad. I can't actually do much about his push right now. I don't have enough elixir. I actually needed a. I'm literally out of elixir. I cannot do very much right now about anything. I literally have to tank this damage right now. I can't. I am literally out of elixir. I'm going to drop the bomb tower right in front, hoping that it can do something, but it doesn't at all. And this push is just too big to defend. And the minion horde. Oh yeah, this is this guy just is too much. I can't do anything about it. Too many barbarians. I just couldn't do anything about that push. I had no elixir. Literally no elixir. So we're giving the anger faces because obviously we everyone hates spawner decks. They really should not exist. So let's go right back in there again. Hoping to get through. And just get one crown. I need one crown. I am in a difficult situation, though, because I'm I'm actually very low right now. I'm only at level 6 compared to all these level 7s. Oh, no, you're kidding me. A level 9. Let's time it. Zap it. All right, we did a little bit of damage with the zap. Dang it, this is not good. Look at this. The, these are all cards that I have. Literally. His cards are levels on my Arena 7 account. That's what these are. I mean, literally. Isn't that crazy? I don't get that. How can you... Literally, level 8 Spear Goblins are spawning out of that. A Prince? Really? This is not good right now. And then another, how are we running so low on Elixir? I don't get it. And the minion, we lost this one as well. This, well. this guy, I actually don't mind losing to. Because truly, he is way too good. These are literally Arena 7, probably, these are probably legendary Arena cards. Because people say I can get to legendary. Those are literally legendary arena cards. Literally. I gotta take a look at this guy. Hold on. Why? What deck is... Oh my goodness. What's this guy's highest trope? What? That is a legendary arena deck right... Probably not legendary, but that is a at least royal arena deck. We need a win here or we are dropping in a Pekka's Playhouse, guys. And I have to go for it because I want the crown chest. And I have faced opponents that are whew, super difficult. I don't get it. But anyway, we're going to head in here. Let's play defensive. Honestly, we'll get the chip damage. But then we're going to play defensive because these guys have been so overpowered. I don't know why or how. Another goblin hut. Is the goblin hut like popular down here or something? It wasn't when I was there. Zap it. They can't actually hit that? Wow, that's sad. Anyway, let's go. Oh, no, his hog rider.
At least it's level 4 compared to mine, which is level 5. Mine's going to do more damage. We drop our Spear Goblins in the corner here to do some damage, so he doesn't do too, too much. Let's actually drop this back here, so that way I um, it actually gets in the way. So now Minion Horde will get hit by the tower if it gets caught up. We're just going to wait a bit so we can go um, all out. There's three. And let's go. Did they like not all get hit the entire minion horde? Anyway, that was a waste of spear goblins because I just took them all out. This is not good right now. Why are they playing on the side? I placed them directly in front. How did they do so much damage? I stopped the push. That is a push that makes no sense. I stopped that push. Okay, that tower is going down. Absolutely no question. I'm not even going to worry about it, though, because I need to focus on getting out that tower. Zap. All of them. And let's go in. Come on, Hog Rider. He lost his biggest counter. Yes. Hog Rider to take it out. We'll drop that in. And the Barbarians because of the Hog Rider itself. And we are going to take it out. Yes. Going to drop the Zap to take all of that out. Okay. Time to do some damage. Nah, they were going to take it out anyway. Anyway, let's play that right in the middle there, so everyone targets it, but still, a chance. Alright. Oh, no, there goes our barbarians. Over there goes the dragon. There we go, let's go now. Freeze it. We took we took the lead though. We're actually in the lead now. Oh no, I accidentally played that. No. No, this is not happening. I'm not losing to this guy. Ooh. Go hog rider. We gotta do it now. Oh, it's a draw. Wow. Good game. Both of us had that. We literally both... Oh, I do get a crown, though, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. So I can stop here now. The furnace. We unlocked the furnace. Now that I'm going to use it. Anyway, we're getting a lot of comments. Are we going to get an epic in this one? Nah. 30 knights. Wow. But we have enough to upgrade the bomb tower now, which is huge. Because that will help us a lot. Level 4 bomb tower is huge. It's a very, actually much more valuable than the other one. Uh, what else did I get, though? The furnace, being that it's at four elixir, honestly, do I use it? I'm a, Oh, no, wait. The fire spirits. I forgot about the fire spirits. I can put those in for the minions, and they are much more effective for lower elixir. Or I can use the furnace, which will spawn the level three. At this point, I think, honestly, do I use the furnace? I don't think that would be thought of. I am going to upgrade the Fire Spirits, because I think the goal would be to use them. Oh, no, there you go. Level 3 Fire Spirits. Let's try them. Honestly, how much damage do they do? 52 hit points, 96 area damage, 64. Yeah, and their range is ginormous. That actually may be a pretty good play in my eyes, if we can get more of them. Obviously, the Crown Chest. And look at the Elixir cost. It's even lower now. And the Furnace, honestly... If we upgrade it, that could be pretty good. I mean, 40-second lifespan. How long is this one? A minute. 
And the goblin hut is a minute. Don't know why they decreased the... I know they decreased the elixir, but I don't know why they decreased the time. That's confusing a bit. I mean, less of the tombstone. That lasts for 40 seconds, right? Yeah, that's why. But the furnace could actually be decent. I mean, if I upgrade it enough, it could be decent. The fire spirits themselves, though, it spawns three of them. I think that's a little bit more worth it if I can upgrade them. But I actually do like the idea of putting the fire spirits in there. The furnace as well. Let's actually try this out. Let's try this in battle. They're both level three right now. Anyone online? Let's see. Testing deck. Please. No one? Really? Let me go to all apps. Let me turn on the chat. Oh, Come on, people. I know you're online. Okay. There we go. Let's see how the furnace does. There's our furnace. I always quit before the battle even finishes. So I don't get one star. Sure. Oh, wait, I actually am not a big fan of this right now. Oh, play that. Distract. Wait, the wizard survived? Oh. Let's wait for our hog freeze. Now make it. Oh, an inferno. Gotta play that for defense right now. I don't know much of an option. I had nothing else to counter the hog rider. Oh, the hog may go past it if I play him in the corner. Nope. Perfect, so this will do the job of distracting and taking out the wizard, which is perfect. That bomb tower couldn't have played a better role. All right, now we need to drop these on the mini P.E.K.K.A. Take him out easily. I can actually go to the Spear Goblin to take these guys out because they have so little health at this point. Alright, let's go. Hog Rider. I know he's going to play the Inferno, so I'm ready. We're attacking? No, no Inferno. Alright, well, I will freeze you gladly. Oh, okay. Kind of confused by why you wouldn't play the Inferno. We get artillery or no? Wonder how great of a test this was because this guy does not appear to be that great. We take them out. There's a minion horde we're going to zap without without a problem. Oh, there it is. I knew it was coming, though. I'm actually going to drop the furnace, too, to do some extra damage. We need to go hog zap here. Zap it all and get a hit. All right, we got a hit. All right, we did take him out. All right.
right. Dang it, I did not see that Inferno really coming there. Oh no, and I did not play the Zap right either. I thought that, that he was not going to play the Minion Horde right there. Oh no. So this would have been a draw in reality. This would have been a draw. Though, we have a huge push going right now. Oh, huge. The Hog Rider wins it. The Furnace may honestly be pretty valuable. So I could use the fire spirits. Alright, let's try it then. Let's take a peek. Because the Furnace actually won me the game there, honestly. I would not have won had it not been there, because I was able to defend the Hog Rider. So having the Fire Spirits themselves may not be as good. But it could be. I could be very mistaken. Oh, there goes the um, other stuff. We're going to drop these guys to do some damage there. Alrighty. Drop the Hog Rider, here we go. Or the Inferno. Wow. He's not going to play anything to counter the Hog Rider. Alright, you know. I'll drop the dragon in the back. Oh yeah, we're attacking. Get some chip damage. Did he like quit the match or something? Well, I gotta play the fire spirits in the back, and I will go hog rider there. There's the opponent left the match. I was like, yeah. So now it's just all out in. Just to do enough damage here just to win, because I saw him go out. Honestly, the furnace may be pretty good. I honestly do have to say that. I'm going to have to try both in live attack. Because truly, the fire spirits don't counter that much other than big hordes. And even then, if you play that against a horde like goblins or whatever... They're going to get taken out due to their health in one hit. The Furnace, on the other hand, can act as a defensive building. So I think I'm actually going to stick with the Furnace for now. I will obviously request for it in the upcoming days, and we'll see how that goes. And it'll get... Because if we look this up, let's look up the Furnace. I'm actually very curious. Furnace. Clash Royale. All right, it's not actually five elixir anymore. Let's see. Ways, I don't know what that means, but let's see. Is this still correct? No, it is not. Let's see the uh, what's the Clash Royale wiki? Here you go from the furnace. This is updated. Six hundred two. So when I actually start, like when it becomes like legit and all, it'll probably be about level 
four, probably. I think level four, level three more. And you can see 700 hit points, not terrible. And level five, fire spirits. I mean, it's not the worst. And plus, you can play the fire spirits, which could be pretty good. You talk about, instead of minions, like, I'd rather use, I mean, I could use a goblin hut. I guess I could. But for one more elixir, I gotta stick with that, because 3.8, this is what I'm used to playing with. I'm used to playing with this. This is my ice wizard. This is my elixir collector. It's a building. It's a building that I built. So this is my elixir collector, and this is my ice wizard. Obviously, the elixir is a little bit count on each is a little bit different but similar enough I mean similar enough this will save me some elixir to play the fire spirits I mean I can I'm obviously I'll try with both obviously I mean the fire spirits will get upgraded easier no question about it but I honestly do like the furnace idea maybe this is actually a valuable card now that it's only four elixir I will certainly be looking at that as time goes along and seeing how this goes. So I think I am going to cut the video here. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll continue to bring you more and more Clash Royale. Anyway, guys, take care.